In our hyper-connected world, we have a flood of information at our fingertips. But that connectivity has a downside, the constant threat of cyber attacks. At DARPA, we recognize the gravity of this modern existential threat, which is why we developed the SIFT, System Security Integration Through Hardware and Firmware Program. Discover how we're utilizing new technologies to stop intruders and keep systems safe. Millions of devices are vulnerable to cyber attacks every day, and we do what we can to protect them. But updating our software and password protocols never seems to be enough. The result? Data breaches, security exploits, and billions of dollars a year lost to cyber crimes. That's why DARPA is developing a better way. For over 60 years, DARPA has held to a singular and enduring mission to make pivotal investments in breakthrough technologies for national security. With that, we identified a problem plaguing the electronic systems we rely on to defend the nation. Current efforts to protect them rely on patches to the software layer without addressing critical underlying vulnerabilities. Imagine eliminating those vulnerabilities and the peace of mind you feel when you know your system is safe. That's why Sith goes beyond software patching to address the security vulnerabilities at a whole new level, the hardware level. That's our vision for the future, hardware-based security that can detect and prevent attacks, closing off entire classes of vulnerabilities exploited through software. Electronic systems are everywhere, running numerous aspects of our daily lives. The modern car is one example of that. Virtually all of the functionality relies on a system of computing devices, sensors, and other electronic components. And just like all systems, those electronics can be compromised. Our demonstrator was built to show how a car is vulnerable to cyber attacks and how Sith can help. Here's how it works. This car's system is about to be exploited through an over-the-air update. As you can see, the intrusion will use a buffer overflow attack to overwrite the signing key. As a network request containing malicious code is input into the program, it is written into a part of the computer's memory called the stack, overflowing into adjacent areas of the stack and corrupting their contents. This corruption transfers control to the malicious code, which overwrites a key stored elsewhere in memory. Now, with the key replaced, the attacker can upload their own malicious firmware to completely take control of the system's operation. This allows the attacker to send corrupted messages that can affect the car's critical systems, which can result in dangerous situations. The Sith researchers are exploring a number of different design solutions to deflect these types of attacks. Here are two unique design approaches. The Hardware Architecture Resilience by Design, or HARD approach, uses a multi-pronged hardware solution to protect against multiple classes of vulnerabilities. Rather than perform major surgery on the main CPU pipeline, it adds a set of pipelines running in parallel to the primary CPU execution pathway. This acts as a parallel security coprocessor, monitoring the main CPU and standing ready to flag any malicious operations. So when network requests attempt to overrun the boundaries of the target memory space, it senses the nature of the data in a particular pipeline is out of context. Based on the nature of its function, the coprocessor can take a number of actions. In this case, halting the compromised process and keeping the system safe. Cherry. Capability Hardware Enhanced Risk Instructions was designed to extend conventional hardware instruction set architectures with new architectural features, enabling fine-grained memory protection and highly scalable software compartmentalization. In this example, message types that are specific to the brake controller containing malicious data are transmitted from the infotainment unit over the entire CAN bus where they are recognized by the brake controller and read into the ECU, which is running a program with a buffer overflow vulnerability. But when the vulnerable program attempts to write the overflow data in the CAN message to the memory space, the program lacks the permission or capabilities required by the hardware. 
so the malicious code is never completely written into the stack, and the system remains uncompromised. Via hardware-based architectures and associated tools like these, we can safeguard systems against various classes of hardware vulnerabilities. Through an array of hardware-based checks and barriers, Sith stops hacks by detecting a malicious memory access behavior before it is able to overwrite the signing key. So when a malicious message attempts to exploit a weakness in the code, it causes a permission violation that is detected by Sith preventing the attack before any damage can be done. This revolutionary approach can transform how system security is done, protecting government agencies from outside attacks, securing corporate enterprises from hackers, and helping consumers keep their personal data safe. With the Sith program, DARPA is already breaking the cycle of data exploitation by developing hardware security architectures and associated design tools. Our demonstrator car is making virtual stops at events throughout 2021 to introduce the Sith concept to the cybersecurity community, share in their experience, and see how we're utilizing new technologies to keep systems safe. Join DARPA in our system security integration and start driving toward a more secure future with SID.